Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system at 142,984 kilometers in diameter. It is also the closest gas giant to the Earth. Could humans colonize this gigantic planet? So far, a total of seven probes have explored Jupiter. Most of these probes were flybys of the planet, with only one staying in orbit. The first probe to explore Jupiter was Pioneer 10 in 1973, which was a precursor mission for the Voyager missions. When Pioneer 10 passed by Jupiter, it discovered a fluid interior and a magnetosphere 10 times stronger than expected. The probe was lucky to survive this encounter and ended up completing its mission successfully. Pioneer 11 flew by a year later. After Pioneer, Voyager's missions were conceived to achieve a grand tour of the solar system and explore Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto in a rare alignment occurring once every 175 years. While this did not occur, both probes still explored Jupiter, delivering new insights into its moons, seeing the volcanic plumes of Io, and delivering some of the first evidence for a possible underground ocean on Europa. Since Voyager, several other flyby missions have also taken place, including Ulysses, a solar probe using Jupiter as a gravitational assist in 1992, Cassini, destined for Saturn, flew by in 2000, and New Horizons, destined for Pluto, flew by in 2007. Jupiter's only orbital mission so far has been Galileo, which entered into orbit on the 7th of December, 1995. Among the treasure trove of information it brought back, it also observed the impact of Shoemaker-Levy 9, a comet which was originally 5 kilometers in diameter, but was reduced to 22 fragments. Had the comet collided the Earth, an extinction-level event may have occurred. Galileo was decommissioned on September 21st, 2003. Since then, there has been no further orbital missions. A few future missions are planned for Jupiter. The closest one is Juno, set to arrive in 2016. Juno will study Jupiter's gravitational and magnetic field, along with studying the composition of the planet. Beyond Juno, the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer is also planned to explore Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. All three are hypothesized to have liquid water oceans beneath their surface. A possible launch date of 2022 is envisioned. However, are there any plans for human exploration? With current technology, there is no chance of humans settling Jupiter in the near future for several reasons. The biggest reason is that Jupiter does not have a solid surface. This means that there is no actual surface for humans to land on. Even a floating colony would face major issues of gravity and radiation related problems. So is there any hope for a manned Jupiter mission? Perhaps not Jupiter itself, but the moons of Jupiter have been flagged as candidates for future human exploration. The further from Jupiter a moon is, the less radiation it receives. A fatal dosage of radiation for a human is 500 rems within a few days. Io, the closest moon to Jupiter, receives 3,600 rems a day, far beyond the fatal dosage. Europa is the second closest moon. While the radiation dosage is still lethal at 540 rems per day, it is possible that Europa contains a vast underground ocean with more water than on Earth. If this is true, then it may be possible to create a colony with heavy shielding on the surface, and all the water and oxygen could be supplied from below. Beyond Europa, Ganymede only receives 8 rems a day. While this is still harmful to humans, it also has the advantage of being the largest moon in the solar system. This means that Ganymede has the most gravity out of all the Jovian candidates. It is also theorized to have a vast underground ocean. Of all the Jovian moons, Callisto is the most favorable for humans. In 2003, NASA studied what place in the outer solar system would be best for human colonization. The decided target was Callisto. This moon is the third largest moon in the solar system, behind Titan and Ganymede, at 4,821 kilometers in diameter. Callisto only receives 0.01 rems per day of radiation, meaning that minimal shielding in comparison would be needed. And just like Europa and Ganymede, it too is hypothesized to have a subsurface ocean. Callisto, unlike Io, is also geologically stable, and a base on this moon 
could be used as a midpoint for missions further out into the solar system. Currently, there are no plans for a mission to Callisto, but the NASA report in 2003 declared that the mission may be viable sometime after 2040. For the time being, the focus will remain on Mars and eventually Venus. But when humans decide to venture further out into the far reaches of the solar system, Callisto may be the first place we venture out into the outer solar system. <laughs>